Hi, I hope you enjoyed this recipe for my sprouted peanut milk. It's so easy to make from just two ingredients, but I know the most common question I'm probably gonna get is, why not just blend a bit of peanut butter as it'll be a lot easier to make? And the reason I'm not doing this for this recipe is to make it raw and sprouted. There are quite a lot of concerns about peanuts and a mold that's present in them. And I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I do try to sprout as many of my nuts and seeds as possible. Well, virtually all of them. I treat peanut butter as the stuff you buy in the shops that isn't sprouted as a, an occasional food rather than an everyday food. Because I know that if I buy a jar of peanut butter, it will be on in 48 hours. And also I like it as it's raw and none of the fats have been heated at all, so they're all intact. You can, if you like, add some sweetener or some vanilla. But to be honest, I like it of just the taste of the peanuts and the water. It does taste a bit different to normal roasted peanuts. It doesn't have that, well, roasted flavour. It has more of a raw, earthy flavour, which I think is really nice. And it goes quite well in porridge. Or I quite like making some quinoa porridge with it in the morning. So it's a really high protein porridge with quinoa and sprouted peanut milk. The fibre left over from the peanuts as you strain them, you can mix some nutritional yeast, a bit of coconut oil, some salt, and some herbs to be a bit of a, a pate cheese. It's not like my smoked cashew cheese. It doesn't slice really well, but it's still quite nice to have as a pate, and you don't waste any of the fibre then. Alternatively, if you're making a pie or a pizza base, just put, put the peanut fibre in that, and it adds bulk and fibre to it and a bit of texture. Let me know what you think of this recipe in the comments below and like and subscribe for more like this.